Now, keeping you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. All right, well, uh, Dina, Julie, and I are hoping for uh, nice weather for the Big Jinx parades yeah, coming up tomorrow morning. Time. Hope to see you out there. Sounds like it will be pretty nice, huh? Out at the parade tomorrow morning, we'll see temperatures 50s to near 60 and breezy. So, yes, nice. you should have some nice weather. Not bad at all. Santa Claus would probably appreciate that weather <laughs> as well. Colder, though, for the football team, right? Mm -hmm. It is a lot colder. In fact, take a look at this forecast for the Oklahoma State at Iowa State game at Ames, Iowa tomorrow. We're going to see a cool front moving through Ames tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. So the temperature will be falling during the game in the 30s with a breezy northwest wind. That's what we'll be watching coming up for the Iowa State game. As far as the OSU game, we'll see a temperature of 70 degrees at kickoff. We'll have the breezy conditions, and the game will be at 7 o'clock. So south of the front, we'll see the warm temperatures. And finally, for the Tulsa game, we'll see a temperature of 67 degrees in El Paso with mostly clear conditions for Tulsa playing Texas El Paso. 53 degrees this morning in Tulsa. A lot of wind, a south wind at 30 miles per hour. Blue sky blowing our camera around all over the place this morning. The air is fairly dry. We also have a high fire danger today due to the wind and the dry air. As far as the rest of green country, 50 showing up, 55 in Bartlesville, 52 Coffeeville, 51 Tahlequah, lower 50s toward McAllister, Ogmulgee, it's 55 in Bristow. This map is the story of the day, that real strong south wind. This means if you're traveling on a west-east highway like 412 I-44, Interstate 40, Maybe a little tough going with the wind trying to blow you across the highway for today. As far as rain, not expecting any rain today. Viper 2 HD zoom down toward green country shows the dry weather. As far as what we're watching, there is a cold front up to our north. The storm system, this is the same one that's going to move through the Ames, Iowa area for the OSU game tomorrow. This will be arriving toward green country by Sunday, so we'll see cooler weather then. But until then, we'll have a strong south wind and fairly mild temperatures. Now, the forecast for today. The long wind arrows, the strong wind is the story for today. This afternoon, we'll see temperatures reaching into the 60s, and Futurecast isn't showing any major areas of clouds across the region. Now, overnight tonight, we'll also have a south wind, so there is a bit of a wind chill for some of the high school football games. If you're headed out to one of those this evening, uh, the wind is also going to help to hold up temperatures overnight. So the forecast for today, windy. We'll see a high nearing 63 today with a south wind at 15 to 35 miles per hour around the rest of green country, lower mid 60s showing up. Not a big temperature difference due to the wind. It kind of evens out the temperatures. 64 toward Bartlesville, 62 prior, 62 into Tahlequah. For tonight, the wind will be a factor during the evening. Breezy, low temperature of 55 degrees with partly cloudy skies and a few lower 50s showing up, possibly a few upper 40s in the morning. But for the most part, temperatures tomorrow morning will be fairly mild. Now, the seven day forecast, most of Saturday and most of Sunday day will be dry. If there's any rain in green country tomorrow, it would be light and brief. Not a big deal. The cool front moves in Sunday, moving in during the morning, so we'll see a north wind on Sunday with increasing rain chances late Sunday. Can't rule out a few showers early Sunday, but the higher rain chances would be towards Sunday night. Monday and Tuesday are looking wet and cold. Temperatures in the 50s with rain and thunderstorms likely so enjoy the dry weather for now and yeah. also most of Saturday as it looks like a return of the wet weather for next week. Which is good because we're a little behind for the year, you said. Mm -hmm. Thank cool. you, George.